federal judge, speaking of courts, in Louisiana has temporarily blocked the Biden administration from ending Title 42, which was reinstated in 2020, which allows the expulsion of migrants to help prevent the spread of COVID-19 during the pandemic. And Title 42 is set to expire on May 23rd, but this latest ruling may throw a wrench in the administration's plans. And Sean, the decision to end this title has been criticized by lawmakers on both sides of the aisle, actually, saying the administration doesn't have a plan in place to deal with this expected surge of migrants after the title is lifted. But today, the Department of Homeland Security finally released its plan for how to deal with the migrant surge. We're going to discuss if this plan makes sense, if it will work with Senator Rand Paul that's later in the show. Yeah, some are saying it's not really a plan. It's like a memo. I mean, yeah. I think they're checking the box more than actually putting a plan on the, on the table. I mean, their goal was to basically say, oh, we have something. Right. I mean, that's, that's, because that's what people criticize them for. They literally right. had nothing. They had so. nothing. And we talked about that with Beth, Beth Van Dyne yesterday, Congresswoman from Texas. So I think this is their way of saying, oh, no, no, we have something. Yeah. Not have well, earlier this month, our next guest did join forces with the attorney generals from Missouri and Louisiana to sue the Biden administration over their decision to end that Title 42 public health emergency that kept people out of the country. Joining us now to talk about where things stand is Arizona Attorney General Mark Bronovich. Uh, General Good to see you. Um, let me ask you this. How much of the impact of this court ruling that is uh, putting a stay on the, the Biden administration being able to, to lift it, how much of that um, is going to help? And what are your next steps to maybe keep it in place? Or where do you go from here? Well, Sean, thank you for having me on again. In fact, I think the last time we spoke is when I was arguing that the U.S. Supreme actually led this coalition. And we argued the case. And the judge agreed with us that what the Biden administration was doing was illegal the way they were rescinding Title 42. And I tell folks all the time that the Biden administration is systematically dismantling these effective border policies. And we've sued him over his failure to build a wall, his failure uh, to or his failure uh, over the public charge rule, this failure or his attempt to rescind Title 42. So this is just one of the many things the Biden administration is doing. And it's why me and my colleagues have to constantly be in court suing him just to try to get him to do the right thing. Because as you know, Americans are dying and a record amount of people are illegally crossing our southern border. That's right. In general, there are reports that the Biden administration is actually welcoming these lawsuits to keep Title 42 in place, something that helps them potentially politically in the midterm. So basically, they can say to their base, hey, the courts made us do it. Do you think that there's any credence to that theory? You know, I'm not sure, other than the fact that, you know, whoever is talking in Joe Biden's earpiece is a hardcore progressive left. And whether it's, you know, socializing our economy, nationalizing our elections, and now overwhelming our country, um, with illegal immigration, I mean, they're, they're obviously creating chaos. I mean, so I, I don't know, you know, where their motives are or not, aren't. All I know is that Washington, D.C. has been broken for a long time. And shame on the Biden administration if indeed they're willing to play political games with people's lives. And make no mistake about it, we know that there's a record amount of fentanyl coming into this country. We know methamphetamines floating in, flooding into our country. Hundreds, more than 100,000 people died of drug overdoses just last year. The cartels are becoming more powerful. Our cities are becoming more dangerous. So if indeed the Biden administration is playing some sort of political game, shame on them because they have the blood of hardworking Americans on their hands. Mm. Attorney General Mark Burnovich, always appreciate your time. Thanks for being with us this evening. Thank you so much, Ken.